Now we will continue creating our edit screen. First we will set a function to navigate and edit photo button. And then we need to create our edit screen before we register it in our route generator. Sam with the detail screen, we use both stateless and stateful widget to create edit photo screen. And also in the route generator we will use page view builder so we can specify the screen transition. After we done with route generator, in the edit photo screen first thing to do is get the photos data from modal route with help from build context. We will set extend body behind app bar to true so the photo can take a full screen height, and for the resize on bottom inset we set to false say later when we have a keyboard appear the screen will not resize. In the body we will use stack with expanded fit, so we can have photos and button on top of each other. We will create edited photo widget and later an edited component and separated widget. The original photo widget is just a widget that responsible to show us an original image, and while load the original image it will show us the portrait or low resolution instead. Now we will create a reusable button for our menu button, the widget is just an icon with a background. We will place our menu button accordingly, so we need to use position widget to place our menu button. The first one is back button. When we tap on back button we will show a confirmation dialog first so we will not accidentally close our edit photo screen. The next one is download and share button for edited photos, for the functionality we will cover that on the next video. And now for the opacity slider, opacity button and add text button we will place in on the bottom of the screen.
For the opacity slider we will use a dummy value first, later on the upcoming video we will make the functionality. And below the slider we have opacity button to toggle the opacity slider. And the last one is add text button. And that's it for the edit photo screen layout. Thanks for watching.